If there is one sector that experienced extreme ups and downs in the past year, it was the tech sector. With the boom of AI in 2022, the industry experienced extreme highs and with the layoffs, it experienced extreme lows. There was confusion, there was sadness, there was demotivation and whatnot. Now take a look at this graph. From November 22 to Jan 23, there was a continuous spike in the layoffs across a large number of tech giants with approximately 90,000 employees fired. At the start of this year, the top three tech giants laid off more than 40,000 employees globally. The same trend continued in February 2023 as well. And in March, Amazon fired 9,000 workers and Accenture laid off just the double of this number in the same month. The layoffs did not stop till the month of June. In August and September, while this wave continued, the concept of moonlighting popped up, causing debates over what's ethical and what's not. Companies also fired employees who were working simultaneously for their competitors, stating a clear testimony why several IT companies were against the concept of moonlighting. October and November came with a relief as the layoff numbers finally decreased. This was a quick recap of what happened. But why did this happen? Here are some reasons in brief. The first and the very obvious reason is the mass hiring during the pandemic. The second reason could be the wrong market prediction. Thirdly, there has been a decrease in e-commerce activity. While the pandemic fueled a surge in online activities, recent data shows that e-commerce globally has dipped below pre-COVID levels. The next widely accepted reason for a large number of layoffs is cost cutting. While these reasons are not and were never in our hands, the fifth reason for layoffs was a lack in updating of skills by working professionals. Companies needed to let go of individuals whose skill sets have not kept in pace with the technological advancements. Needless to say, a lot of individuals were affected by this wave of layoffs. From working professionals to students in their final years of education looking for jobs, everyone faced uncertainty and anxiousness this year. But it's not all bad. There is good news ahead. As we head into 2024, layoffs have slowed and remained low and demand for technicians is on the rise again, particularly with all industry verticals diving into tech. Additionally, AI won't replace jobs in the literal sense. AI is going to help professionals work faster, streamline tasks and open up time to allow them to innovate. So 2024 essentially depends on you, on us. How motivated are we to learn, adapt and grow as the tech changes rapidly around us? And to ensure that all our geeks stay motivated this new year, we bring you a challenge, the 390 challenge. So what are these 390s? Enroll in the course of your choice and take an oath with Geeks for Geeks to finish at least 90% of the course within 90 days of the course purchase. And what's the third 90? Well, if you succeed at the first two 90s, you become eligible to claim a 90% refund on what you paid for the course. You heard it right, a flat 90% refund straight back to you, who's now already high on confidence with 90% of the course done. Additionally, all through the journey of this challenge of upskilling and learning, you get a study partner for yourself. The two most common reasons for dropping out of online courses are inconsistency and lack of motivation. So we'll not let you be alone for this. Your study partner will be live every day for three hours from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. to remind you to not go off track. So it's now your turn to just show up and commit to learning. Commit to Geeks for Geeks. Check out more details about the challenge from the link in the description. We believe in the power of learning and in you. Now all that you got to do is commit with Geeks for Geeks.